Halifax, once known primarily for its maritime heritage and rugged charm, is now emerging as a cultural hub where entertainment now knows no bounds. As the city embraces its profound multicultural identity, its entertainment scene is flourishing with diverse offerings that cater to every taste and interest. And we will continue to bring you updates about what's happening out there. First up, we had the pleasure of sitting down with Sako, a dynamic comedian hailing from Nigeria, who is bringing his comedy show, Halifax Must Laugh, to our shores on Sunday, May 26th. But that's not all. Joining us in the studio today to talk to us yet again about another event is none other than DJ Shani. Renowned as one of Canada's top 20 DJs in 2020, DJ Shani has been setting dance floors on fire with his infectious Afrobeat style. And he is here today to tell us about what he has lined up for this weekend. Welcome to the show, DJ Shani. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's a pleasure. We're always looking for ways to kind of kick our heels and, and cut up the dance floor and do what we do. So I want to jump into what's happening this weekend because I have in front of me one of your flyers, which we will kind of advertise on our, on our community update. But tell me about this event. Who's going to be there? What can we expect? What's the vibe? You know, uh, give us the deeds on that. Yes, so it's uh, it's a North American tour that is happening right now. Um, it started already. Um, okay. So far, so good. Other cities have been great. Okay. Um, his, so Kenny Black himself is a musical comedian. Mm -hmm. So he does a blend of music and comedy. Okay. Um, and so far, so good. Like, I've you know he great feedback so far. Great feedback so okay, far. Okay, nice. You know, from other cities. Even if you go on his um, um, social media page, I think he has over a million followers, you know. Oh, wow. He's, he's pretty big. Yeah. You know, he's pretty okay. big. He won um, back to back three times, three consecutive times um, Comedian of the Year Award. 2018, 2019, and I think 2020. Mm -hmm. um, don't quote me on those <laughs> exact years, but somewhere but around, around that facility. Exactly. Okay, and yeah. then you also have Aproko. Aproko is also Nigerian. He's also funny as hell. <laughs> Um, yeah, and even the MC as well, he's also a comedian. Yes, yeah, so general public, uh, the regular tickets are $60, mm -hmm. um, and VIPs are $100. Um, ticket prices initially were started at $50, but, you know, that's early bird pricing. So now that we're in the home stretch, yeah. basically, you know, we're at the regular pricing, which is $60, and uh, for VIPs is $100 and it's a seated event. So, okay. um, and even like a couple of my friends were in Toronto this last weekend right. where they had a, a gospel event and they performed there and like they were wowed, you know. So, I'm definitely looking forward to this. To this, to this <laughs> well, I might have to stop Saturday. in and see what's happening on the vibe there. Definitely. It's the um, first of its kind. It here, is. So. It absolutely is. And I'm thrilled to know that this is happening in our city of Halifax. Yes for not only for um, Nigerian communities and cultures, yes. but also for the city of Halifax, yes. right? We need that multicultural mix blend added in. What time, want to tell folks what time that they can sure. show up and where, where, what the venue is? Yeah, so things? doors open at 6 p.m. Um, the show officially starts at 7. Okay. Um, tickets are online. Um, I still have some physical tickets. Um, especially for the VIPs, you know, some people want that personal interaction. So I would personally come deliver the, the tickets if you're getting a VIP. Okay, ticket. well, that's that's a service in itself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, and so what's your role and part in this uh, event this weekend? So I'm kind of more of the footman, for lack of better terms, you know, a representative of them here in Halifax for this show. So promoting, you know, marketing. And things I think like that's that. the key role, don't you think? Because if they don't know, if people don't know about right, then how are they going to show up? Right, exactly. exactly. So, and again, like a lot of people come to me and they're asking, you know, when is the next event happening? You know, especially now that we have a growing, you know, audience. audience yeah. You know, we have a growing Nigerian population, African population. You know, we have a lot of students. You know, we have a lot of families coming in. Nice. You know, there's a lot of migration happening. So, you know. My job is basically to get it out there as much as possible, okay. you know, make people aware. So next time someone comes to me and is like, what's going on? I'll be like, you know, this, this is happens. what's happening. So. Okay. So tell us a little bit about who you are, where you come from. Let the people know who is DJ Shani. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm DJ Shani. Um, Nigerian by birth and by origin. 
Yes. Um, I've been in Canada now for a little over a decade. Wow. Um, <laughs> Well, yeah. glad to hear. <laughs> I'm an open book, basically. You know. <laughs> but um, what has been your journey? Uh, so initially, I came to Canada, like just like most other um, Nigerians, for school. Initially, yes. um, I had the the long term goal was to eventually go into med school, become a doctor. Nice. Like, you know, there's the stereotype. You know, most Nigerian <laughs> kids, does, you know, right? either medicine, law, you know, one of those, you know, top. Top you know, jobs, yeah. Yeah. jobs. Yeah. Um, however, for myself, I've always been passionate about music and entertainment from as early as six, seven years old. Nice. Like I used to be in an orchestra, I used to be part of a band, you know, so I guess you can say music a little bit is in my DNA. Yes. Um, and then coming here, you know, coming to Canada at the time, there was not really a lot of representation for, you know, Africans when it comes to entertainment you know you go to school and you know we get you know homesick you know we get bored you go out to the you know to the to events and you know you barely hear music, music that you that, can well that resonate you're familiar to from back home family, yes yes you absolutely. know with so uh, that was part of what you know you know drove me to you know i found a void you know in a way in, in essence basically and i thought to myself you know how can i fill this void you know and basically yeah that's that's how the journey started <laughs> so nobody asked you to come in and dj for their party or like how did that how did you burst on the scene was it through the university events was it downtown social events or a multicultural event what was your first so gig my, i should say first, i'll say my first gigs were you know just birthday parties you know back then in college um i used to live you know off campus but Close enough to campus, like where where I where I stayed um, was, we had the nickname of the fourth residence. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Because uh, the school had, you know, right. three residences. I went to um, University of Prince Edward Island, you know, so very, very different from, you know, what I was used to growing up. You know, I grew up in Lagos. I went to school in Lagos, you know. Lagos is a city that never sleeps, you know. <laughs> it's another mini New York, eh? <laughs> basically, you know, you know, you can you can explain yes. it that way. Mm -hmm. um, after you know, people saw that you know I was you know getting better at you know what I was doing. You know, it started from you know just using YouTube to like play music for you know for friends and you know house parties and things like that. And then you know I saw the interest in it you know from people you know so. I took it up on myself, yeah. saved up a little bit, bought my first controller, okay. um, started teaching myself, you know. So self-taught. Yeah, yeah nice. for the most part. Nice, you know, nice. Watching a lot of, um, again, I wouldn't say it was, it wasn't easy, no. you know, but I guess like. But you figured it out, right? Yes. To appeal yes. to an audience that was obviously missing, you know. Missing something. Right, absolutely. absolutely. And, you know, combine that with my background in music already, you know, being a part of a band, part of an orchestra, you know, I knew what good music, you know, <laughs> was like. I knew what transitioning, you know, right. going from one beat to the next, you know, different beat, you know, and, you know, all of that, you know, so. Yes, so with time, you know, it just kind of grew from there, nice. you know, nice. and then started from birthday parties and then started getting booked for actual events like weddings private events, and private, weddings. Yeah, yeah. mostly private, yeah. private events. Um, and do you yeah. prefer, do you prefer those the, over the, you know, the big crowd events? I mean, they, I, I'd say I don't have one preference over right. the next because they... As long as you get back. <laughs> right as long I mean, as the, the well, conversation is right. different right, right? okay you explain know. that to me then um i mean your typical weddings and you know private events might pay more right. you know than say like your club events right, right. but at the club events you're at, at least for me i have more fun at the club events it might mm. the budget might not be as much you know comparable right but at least you know i'm there i'm there with well, friends well you're feeding you know, off the vibe and the energy the vibe, that's the there energy, right exactly right. you know and then you know seeing people like you know club yeah, clubs absolutely. tend to be where absolutely. like you know you like you get known more yeah you know because i mean no one wants to spend you know hundreds of dollars on a dj that they've not heard before you know <laughs> so coming to a club spending ten dollars at the door twenty dollars at the door to come in and they hear you play you know and they, they like you, then they can book you. Right, right. 
So do you have any upcoming dates that you're trying to already pre-schedule or is that something that you'll further discuss as you wind down with this event? I mean, once this event is, is over with, um, I always post um, all my events yeah. on my social media. Yeah. Um, so my social media is DJ underscore Shenny on Instagram. Um, I post usually events, whether it's in Halifax or whatever cities. Right. I have some other cities booked um, for myself as a, you know, to perform oh, at right. yeah. already. So um, I have Moncton in June. I have um, mm -hmm. PEI in two weeks, Afrobeat versus Dancehall. There's also another um, event I'm booked at here in Halifax as well on May the 18th. May the but I mean, you see all of that on my social media. So. Right. Right. Yes. So I encourage folks to check out uh, DJ Shani's uh, Instagram and his Facebook and all his social media platforms so that you can be in this spot, that you don't miss out what's hot and Definitely. that you get to break up the dance floor as well. <laughs> <Definitely>. Come <laughs> right? with your moves, you know, come oh. with your dance shoes and, you know. It's, it's going to be a fun night. You Go know, ahead, tell them. Tell your, it's tell definitely them. going to be a fun night, so you don't <laughs> want to miss, you know. Like they say, be there or be squared. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. I love your energy. I love the vibe. I love Thanks the fact that we get to um, be able to invite you on the show to kind of tell everybody about what's happening in Halifax. I hear a lot of young people saying, you know, like um, it's not Toronto, but we can turn this into somewhat of a, you know, yes, a mini Toronto, definitely, right? Definitely, because definitely. we're bringing those definitely. bits and pieces that make a great city great. beautiful, a nightlife, right? Yes. And then a social vibe. Yes. Kind of thing. So thank you for being here on the show today. And thank you for sharing this. Is there anything else that you want our audience to know about your event? Um, all I'll say is, you know, just keep the positive energy going, you know, as long as, you know, I know that despite the fact that, you know, life might be a little challenging these days, you know, there's like they say, laughter is the best medicine. So it come is. out to this. <laughs> so, it, you know, that's very true. Re relax is. a little yeah, bit. It you does. Know, it you does. Know, take then, ease off your ease off some stress you know absolutely yeah. the one thing my mother i can hear in my head when you're saying that it's like you know it keeps the wrinkles out your face laughter that, keeps the wrinkles exactly, out your exactly, face. Exactly, and exactly. i just look at her but she has a she has a joke that she always says um let me throw it at you see if you get it she said um what do you think jackie chan's um favorite drink is uh, i don't know that <laughs> one. Sorry, yes. well she says water <laughs> ah, uh, makes sense, makes so mom there you go first joke on on the show but <laughs> anyway uh it's not up to the measure of your co comedy show for for t this weekend and for the for the guest performers that you have coming so hopefully we can sit there and be a part of that audience and then come back and share some more about that would you be interested in doing definitely, that? definitely okay definitely. we would love to have you on here and hear how to come here like this is a great um mo um motive that you guys have going on so um you know getting the community yep. aware of what's going on in the city that's definitely big because i like i said before i hear it a lot of times like some people want to come out to certain things but they don't know they about don't know. it and if so they don't know yeah, yeah. you know yeah. it's, it's kind of hard at that point we are because of who we are because of you <laughs> right <laughs> our you. community wouldn't have you know the flavor and the diversity if, it, if we didn't open ourselves up to definitely, you know, put definitely, our you know definitely. our news out there our black community news our black events in any way, um, shape, or form, this is why we're here. We're here to do exactly what you said, to put the oh, information out there. That. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That. So, again, we've been talking to DJ Shani, one of Canada's top Afrobeat DJs. Do not forget to check him out on this weekend. Get out. Get out there and support. Thank you, Shani, for being on the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs>